The 10 Days of Giving is here, and what better way to get into the holiday spirit than to donate new socks and underwear? I have my donation, so let's go inside to Bohannon's and do a little drop off. Hey Jake, what's going on? I brought some socks to donate for the 10 Days of Giving. All right, box is right here, my friend. Not, I can't believe I passed that. <laughs> So what's going on, Frank? Oh, you know, always uh, same old thing, making some cocktails. And I remember last time you trying to make a cocktail. Uh, why don't you step back behind the bar? You want to have a go at it? Yeah, let me roll my sleeves up real quick. Well, all right, let's see. Okay, Jake, the 10 days of giving is important, but how important is it to Bohannon's? The reason why a lot of these charities are really important to Bohannon's, Mark Bohannon and the rest of the staff, is we have come to understand, especially after working with a lot of these large uh, uh, charities that work with children, the, the need that a lot of these families are striving to, to get. You know, they just cannot provide enough care for some of these, these children. Let's go take a seat. Let's go. Well, Seven, I think today you did the best behind the bar than you have out of all the days. I had a great teacher. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I know the 10 days of giving is from now to December the uh, 13th. Okay, well, on that, pop quiz. Okay. Where and what are the uh, charities and donation drop-off points? Okay, well, the charities are Roy Moss, you have mm -hmm. Salvation Army, mm -hmm. you have Sand Ministries, you have Arms of Hope, and you also have St. PJ's. The drop-off locations, Bohannon's, Atlas Floors, New Balance, Fox 29 and News 4 San Antonio. Perfect. Thank Fantastic. you. You know, San Antonio, this is just one of the times it's, it's time to give back. And right now, one of the main focuses that the charities talk about at the shelters is the people only walk in with the clothes on their back. So from us to you, we ask that you give your donation and your socks and underwear at one of our drop-off locations. The, the importance of one pair of socks can really help a family in need and really provide a, a wonderful Christmas to children and, exactly. and families alike. Here's my donation. And of course, the 10 days of giving are going on right now, and we would love to have you participate. I think I may steal Esteban's um, blue socks. Those were fabulous. <laughs> Joining us this morning, Navarro Williams, president and CEO of Sam Ministries. Uh, you heard Esteban mention that they are one of the recipients of what we collect during our 10 days of giving. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You know, uh, it's something that we don't think about a lot, but when you see families coming into your transitional living facility, mm -hmm. they do. They don't have a suitcase full of clothes or toys or any of that. They usually arrive with what they're wearing. That's correct. And, you know, the families do need a lot of support and help, but what we concentrate on, uh, concentrate on is helping them back to self-sufficiency. Absolutely, absolutely. Preventing homelessness is really what we're doing here this morning. And sometimes uh, you just need a little extra nudge to get back on your feet. Let's talk a little bit okay. about Sam Ministries because you guys have been a big part of San Antonio for many years. Yes, this is actually our 30 year, 30th year of providing wow. services to the homeless community here in San Antonio. And, you know, the last four or five years we focused on the front end of preventing homelessness, mm -hmm. and we found it that's a, uh, a lot more efficient, but the most important thing is less traumatic on the family since they don't go through that period of homelessness. Mm -hmm. well, let's talk about some of the different facilities that you guys have mm -hmm. and what people can do to help fund those facilities. Okay, so our primary facility is the Transitional Living and Learning Center on Blanco Road. It houses 40 families. Um, and it's a huge facility. It's a 66,000 square foot f facility. Mm -hmm. Those families get up to two years to work themselves back to self-sufficiency. Right. We have 25 scattered site houses across uh, the city of San Antonio where again families get two years to work themselves back to self-sufficiency. Okay. And then we're helping in various different uh, apartment complexes um, and ho rental houses. We house another couple of hundred families uh, that are in permanent uh, supportive housing. Okay. It, it seems like a small thing to uh, toss a couple extra packages of socks into the cart when you're at the grocery store. But these little items really do help. Um, I, I've been to a lot of different places where they've got pantries where the families can go shopping. The same thing with a closet full of donated clothes exactly. where they go in and they grab different things that they need to support their family. And that's what we're trying to do is stock it that is. up. It is. And families in particular, socks and uh, undergarments, those are 
are things that really we need new items mm -hmm. uh, for the children in particular. Um, one of the other things we need, though, is gift cards for our teens. Okay. We have a lot of teens in, mm -hmm. in our various different programs. And you know how the teens are. They kind of want to go shop for themselves. Yes. So that's yeah. something that will help as well. You know, it's so amazing. I really feel the spirit of San Antonio year-round, but especially during the holiday season. Um, everybody wants to give, whether it's $5, $10, socks, a gift card, whatever you can do, this is the time to do it. And it really is as simple as throwing in a couple of bags of underwear or socks when you're shopping around at Walmart or Target, mm -hmm. simple things like that, or picking up an extra gift card. We're collecting the socks and underwear, and we'll tell you about that in just a second. But if people have other donations that they want to give the Sam Ministries, how can they do that? Well, they can, um, in terms of cash donations, they can go on our, our actually newly designed uh, website, mm -hmm. which is samm.org. Okay. And uh, it's very easy to donate through the website online. It's very secure. And uh, so they can make a cash donation that way. If they want to donate other household goods, we have a new location called Sam Express, okay. which is right next to Furniture for a Cause, which I know you're a customer. I love Furniture for a Cause. Yes, if yes. you're looking for new discounted furniture, slightly used pieces, go to Furniture for a Cause. I am not kidding. This is the best store ever in San Antonio. It's right on Blanco right, near 50, West that's Avenue. That's 5254 Blanco there Road. There you go. And Sam Express is just a couple doors down, 5246 Blanco love it. Road. You guys are doing great things here in San Antonio. Navarra, thank you so much for coming by. Always good to see you. Of course, you know that the Sam Ministries are benefiting from our 10 days of giving, but uh, your donations will also help Arms of Hope, St. PJ's, the Salvation Army, and Roy Moss Youth Alternatives. And you can do this, drop those things off that we're collecting through December 13th. And here's where you can take them. Bohannon's, all New Balance locations, Atlas Floors, of course, WOAI, and the KABB building out on 410. And we'll be collecting your donations until December. 13th. And don't go away.